How we doing? How we doing? I wanted to make a short video today on the CBN emulsions that I use. This one's 16 micron and 1 micron. Basically, what I use these for, what I got them for specifically, was these harder carbide steels, K90, S90V, 15V, things like that. You will not be able to touch on your standard uh, compounds. Um, some of my knives here, like LC200N, and uh, this one here, this is a knife I made out of some 1095 carbon steel. These knives, you, you can you can touch them up, uh, strop them up on the compounds, and you know they'll take a pretty good edge. But even even you know sharpening up these these steels and an M4, M4 is a, probably one of my my favorite steels. These these will very much benefit from some CBN or some diamond uh, spray, anything like that. Basically, what I like to do is, well, when I first get get a knife straight out of the box from factory, I'll put my own edge on it. This does a couple things for me. It uh, puts a nice even edge on both sides, and I can personally know that it's it's sharpened up from from the ground up from you know from the the lowest grit up to what I'm you know comfortable with which is uh, my last step here is the 1 micron which as you can see here is a, is about equivalent to 16,000 grit 14 to 16,000 is kind of what what I what I read online but what I'll do is I'll uh, load these up with some comp with some uh, emulsion which I've I've already done I uh, you don't have to do that too often but I'll take uh, I'll take my knife here and once I get it through my sharpening or you know if I've been using this knife for a year sorry not a year maybe a month two months whenever I feel that it's dull and it may need to get touched up I'll send it on uh, this this strop here a couple times and, and then I'll run over here to the one micron and uh, finish it up, touch it up there. Now, the reason that, that these higher end steels need this CBN and diamond spray, anything like that, is because the carbides in these, vanadium carbide, you have uh, some other different um, carbides that some of these steels are made with that are just too hard for your regular... Um, say aluminum oxide or or whatever compounds you're using they they won't touch uh, the carbides and I don't even know I'm not a very scientific -y type guy but I've read a little bit into it I don't know if it's necessarily the carbides themselves on a microscopic level that you're even uh, grinding away or gritting away as if you will it's it's more you're just uh, aligning them um, more than anything, but these these will definitely get your edges up to a nice nice and hair popping sharp, razor sharp. But yeah, I just wanted to make a short little video. I've got a couple knives here just laid out that I that I've sharpened up, and uh, you know, run run you guys through a quick little uh, how to and and why. Uh, I used these and decided to get these. Um, if you got any more questions, I'd be happy to answer them. So uh, appreciate it. A like, subscribe would be nice. I, I appreciate that. And if you learned anything, you're welcome. Uh, I'd be glad to make some more videos. You know, if you want a video on on how I made these or, or anything else, I'd be glad. Just leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.